sure. So I want to say these do require power. I'm not sure 100% how much power they need. I need an andesite, I need stone. Oh yeah, that is true. How is steel production going? Eh, decently. like something else? No. It's just going to horribly laggy if I scroll over that accidentally. So let's remove that from hotbar. Not sure why. Oh yeah, I should probably figure out a way to fill this under tank with war. Okay. So I want to say the machine infuser requires the dimensional shards and the power. Yes. Okay. Let's make a table. Okay. So that means I should always have, or be able to have a decent amount of cables on hand. And we'll want to be careful, but in theory we should be fine for those. So, dim dimensional shards. So we can actually just almost freely use dimensional shards because every bit of the material is just crafted via chickens. Honestly, I think I might slap... Hmm. Do I want to slap down the drawer? I mean, I could just have it as an export. So if it's only accepting... If it's only there for the dimensional shards. And it would be fine. Is there? There isn't. So I'd need a hopper as well. Hop. Okay. Let's turn. I guess let's do an external storage thing as well. shards, external storage, export, grab one, place one there, okay, it's in theory, now we should be able to just... Oh. Wait, what? Machine infuser. Isn't the dimensional shards how you're supposed to infuse the stuff? Oh, you can't infuse the blazing infuser? Okay. Um... Another machine infuser. So the trick here is we infuse the machine infuser so it is more power efficient. And we use the upgrade the one to infuse the original one. It just works because of reasons. Okay. Though actually thinking about the blaze. Generator. 
at RF tools. Blazing generator needs infused diamonds. Some more machine frames. Okay. More power generation. How does that work? So blazing. Oh, needs wait. Okay. Blazing infuser can infuse a blazing rod with dimensional shards. Redstone or glowstone dust. This will improve the power production and the duration of blazing production when used in blazing generator. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to agitate it first. Or something. Actually. Real quick. Join that, place that there. It's more power efficient. So you pump the agitated blaze rods into the blazing infuser, and the blazing infuser into the uh, blazing generator. Methinks, at least. How did my magnet get in there? What? It seems odd. We will actually grab the locking thing just so that it doesn't get it. Filled up with other random junk. So then, do I actually want to replace? Yeah. I think what we need, are supposed to do is... If I break this hopper in favor of an item pipe with a don't know where I put my pipe wrench. So we do that with the blazing infuser up a little bit. Done. Let's get the upgraded blazing generator while we're at it. Because it would be a shame if we don't, uh, might as well upgrade things as we go. So, agitator. Needs power. I figure, I feel like it must, like, be worth it, because otherwise this seems like a really stupid power generation thing if it uses less, or uses more power than it generates, you know? This uses six, creates 60 RF a tick, and it looks like longer it spends in here, it generates more, maybe? Yeah, we don't have the manual, so we can't open it. Um, okay. Also, I just realized that if anyone said anything, been paying attention to chat, but looking at it doesn't look like it. Check something real quick. something else. Just 
turned on Pandora, but I need to check and make sure that... Okay. We should be good. Because I decided I was done with pretzel music. Nice thing is, I can just not listen to it. Too hot. Okay. Does increase the power generation, but only by a little bit, I guess? But maybe increases the amount of takes it less? I could put the hopper here going to there. Okay. We need a hopper here. So, has to be agitated. At the very least. And it does not grab power from elsewhere, so let's just check. Okay, uses ticks from there. Is it like... Oh. Interesting. to hold off on infusing them until we have a 100% um, charge or agitated one. Which actually, oh nice, it does just grab it. So in theory if we grab a hopper, two hoppers that is. We'll need a way to automatically craft dimensional shards, but this is fine for right now. Crafter here. Oh. Okay. We're still generating positive. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably be generating positive for a good while, honestly. Ah. Circle chasing sleep charm. Good here. Okay, but oh wait, that's what I should do. Make a crafter manager. make a couple of those and we'll construction cores. Where did Oh, so I didn't make them yet. Yep, that would be why. Some more construction cores as well. Okay, crafter. 
Project Manager. Is that not hooked into the rest of the system? Hey. Okay. Oh wait, it is. Never mind. It's just the weird positioning of these. Okay. We're actually going to grab some iron. And make some more. Of these. So we've got plenty of binding, plenty of redstone, and plenty of silicon. But we're just running along the cores. Which actually it looks like we're low on all of them. Okay, let's grab some gold, diamond, and my locking tool. actually see it. So, it'll be interesting to see how this works. Let's increase the priority to that much. Okay. Two thousand forty eight. Yes. Uh, upgrade. Okay. That should be more than enough dimensional shards for at least a while. Which that is true. Let's grab the this. So there's no reason not to infuse it as well. Actually, double the infusion that speed. Of just adding another infuser. Doesn't mean that the dimensional shards get crafted quicker, but... So, okay. The infuser is the bit that really adds power. The agitator adds time. Just slap a exporter with blaze rods. Bam! I don't even have to worry about like setting up a blaze rod chicken for it. So I wonder then if I were to limit it to just one. Thing, would it increase the speed of it? I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Так, по... So it generates about 67 times 800 ticks. 7 times 800. So it generates about 53,000 RF for its duration. And it can burn up to 4 at a time. But then with the infused state, it probably adds about 1 RF a tick. Per power, maybe? Per infusion state? Looks like about. And a couple more seconds as well. Okay. We go 50 blocks out, 100 by 100 by 100. Yeah, not enough power, but it's definitely in the right direction. start layering it out. Of course that shall need some like way to prevent monsters from spawning. Is there mega torches? It is. As there's already a swarm just right over there. Though is the mega torch gonna be too strong? like if I well actually easy way to check so if I come over here shoot this one's still fish right yeah yeah too strong. Um, so I want to say it's like a 9 by 9 almost. So I guess we'll just be stuck with monsters over here for temporarily. That is true. Uh, charger. Let's get a player charger. At power. Player transmitter. Just make a couple stacks of various resources. Aerial pearl. Zombie or husk? Zombie or husk. Okay. Uh, aerial pearl. I guess technically I wouldn't need the dimensional binding guard. It's all the same dimension. Transmitter. Make the player transmitter. Just 
slap it onto here, I guess. Oh, I guess we do need the binding card still. Honestly, the best bit about happening to get the uh, repair thing is it means that I can actually make some of the more advanced armor bits without having to worry about them breaking. Because, like, um, oh wait, uh, Axel, find Obsidian Paxel. And obsidian, osmium, and dust alloy. So osmium, diamond, obsidian. Osmium, diamond. This will solve the issue of... Um... Sorry, I'm just... Checking something, because I apparently got a bunch of messages. Okay. An obsidian. Yeah, let's just turn on that to automate. So the thing about the refined obsidian is like incredibly strong. Like the only thing stronger might just be the infinity leggings. At least without extra bits. Um. Of course, yeah, the gem leggings are only slightly weaker than netherite. I feel like those haven't been, like, buffed since netherite released. It's like, with how expensive they are, you'd really think they would at least be as strong as netherite. I mean, they're almost the same strength. Armor toughness, slightly less, and a bit more knockback resistance, but like, It's just kind of surprising that they're not closer. Uh, shovel and axe. Okay. Then can 